Hello. I'm here with the person you all know as the Malibu Mask. Yeah. Hi. Uh. Hello. The Malibu Mask is actually a person named Mark Campbell. Hello, Mark. Heavy metal. Yeah. He has agreed to share his inner workings with me in this uncanny interview. Yeah. 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 So, let us begin right away with our first question. The question I ask everybody. When was the first time you killed somebody? Well, the first time I, I ever slaughtered someone was like three years ago. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I met him in, in film school and he, he told me he was working for that film studio and they, they basically showed him how he could create characters from regular people and he taught me everything I know and then he basically, yeah, he, he had to die because of that knowledge, yeah. I see. So, you're actually saying that you are a trained professional in, in changing your appearance, right? Well, my modus operandi would be like I, I first look at someone and study them, like the way they sit for example, and then the way they have their hair done. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I try to intimidate the way they move. Pretty, uh, pretty a lot of, of people have their own movements, you know, and uh, after I, after that, I, I slowly try to look like them. So how easy, how, how do you kill the people? How do you choose them and, and kill them? Well, of course, the outfit is a, a mayor aspect of the way they, they show their inner selves to the outside world. And you have to study a person for a while to see the way they move, the way they dress, the way they look around, they move their faces and their eyes, shaving and all of that kind of stuff. But once you've got nailed it down, the last thing to uh, adopt, if you want to copy your people, would be the movements and of course the way they talk. If you if you found out how they talk, you can copy them more effectively than you would ever guess. Isn't that right? And once you've killed them, but. What do you do with them? What, how do you continue to, to stay under the radar of the police? Well, of course, after I copied them, I usually kill them in a, in a really unspectacular way, usually to, to, to hide the bodies or, or not even create a body at all. It's not that hard. Once I've done that, I take their place in their lives. I walk around in their clothes, wearing their faces, looking like them, acting like them, to, to ensure that people see them alive while they're actually seeing me. And after I've done that, I so they suddenly disappear, I disappear as them. They are already dead for weeks. And nobody will ever find out that it was me because... What can I say? I am good at what I'm doing. Alright then, thank you for your time. Now, what about you? What do you mean? You can't just... Oh.